Hey, what's up, Money Growth Academy? Today, we're gonna continue talking about how to make $2,000 a week washing windows, guys. Yes, $2,000 a week washing windows. Now, if you haven't already seen the other video I released right here talking about exactly the equipment that you need to get started washing windows, make sure to go watch that because you'll see how easy this business is to get into, how much profit there is, and how little overhead, which I love. Guys, on this channel here on Money Growth Academy, we're talking about a lot of businesses, okay? We're serial entrepreneurs, we run multiple businesses. We run a lot of digital businesses right now, social media marketing agencies, stuff like that. But we did not get our start there. We did not get our start there. We needed seed money to get into that game. So we're teaching you here, guys, how to master your wealth so you can free yourself. And oftentimes, guys, that begins with a side hustle that you can turn into, even a main hustle if you want, but a side hustle that can get you the seed money to do what you really want to do, guys, okay? So I'm gonna show you a business, and like I said in the other videos, I'm not just gonna talk about businesses, guys. I'm gonna show you actual businesses we've done, I've done, people I know have done that have generated money, that way you're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually market a window washing company okay so once you've got you know your equipment and whatnot how to actually get sales now guys here's a little secret I gotta admit to you guys I actually did not start off buying all that equipment first I did not start off like that what I actually did to get my start was I went out and I printed flyers and I put out a bunch of flyers okay and once those flyers were out I waited until I got phone calls till I went out and did quotes and until I got a job before I went and bought the equipment guys now that's called market research and I do it with every single one of my businesses first I see if there's an audience out there and so that's what you can do with the window washing business as well so I'm gonna talk about all the ways that you can start marketing your window washing business before you even go buy stuff, how you guys can get you know, 10, 15 clients before even buying the equipment to know if you actually wanna get into this and if it'll work in your area. So let's go jump into that right now. All right, I'm gonna break down the basics of what you need to get started washing windows. And you don't need everything up here. We'll just start with a few of these things. And then as you get your jobs done, you can reinvest that money back into more marketing. Guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? Hit that subscribe button down there. That way you guys can see this entire series, how it plays out and how we make $2,000 a week. And once again, I'm gonna do this live. I'm gonna go back out there washing windows and I'm gonna show you guys live how we make this money. Okay, so the first thing I started off with, I told you guys was flyers, okay? I went out and printed flyers before actually buying any of my window equipment to see if there was a market because guys, I knew that if I went and printed out flyers, it's about 20 bucks, okay? And I'm gonna kinda explain how this works, but the flyers costed me $20. That was better than me buying a bunch of window equipment, you know, for upwards of $400 and whatnot, going out there and figuring out that I didn't live in a market that wanted this done, okay? So what I did is I was like, you know what? I'll risk 20 bucks first to see, and then I'll go out and do some quotes. If I get some customers, then I'll invest in and go in when I know that I can make that money for sure. So. What I did here is these flyers, okay? So I printed off, sorry, I blocked out my number. I just get a lot of people calling sometimes. So what I've done is I printed off one sheet, okay? And that sheet, I did 200 sheets like that, which gave me, and you see how they're in quarters, right? I didn't want to run a full sheet because I can get so much more out of my money for a quarter. All right, so I did, you can see, boom, right there, this is what I would cut out and I would just have the people cut it out for me for an extra 25 cents. And that ran me 20 bucks for 200 sheets of this, which, would, which gave me 800 flyers to pass out. So that's a lot of flyers, guys, for 20 bucks, okay? And here's a tip for you on that. Don't, see, see how this is in color ink? Do not print it in color ink like this on white paper because it is expensive if it's not black and white. So what I did is it's actually cheaper to ask them to print it on colored paper. It's actually cheaper to print it on colored paper and it's gonna pop out to the eye a lot more, guys, if it's on colored paper. So find a colored paper in your area, maybe that other marketers aren't using. If you see a bunch of people are using you know, the color blue for flyers, don't use that color because you wanna stand out on their door. So you'll go ahead and um, do that. And I'll show you guys in other videos how exactly I put this on their doors. I don't tape it to the actual door, the wood part, because I don't want to damage any wood if that tape were to leave any residue behind. So I put it right onto the actual doorknob or the door plate, and I'll show you guys that here, how that's done. That way they can peel it right off. I like to put that on metal. 
And guys, I go out and get the tape from the dollar store. Once again, I'm trying to do everything as cheap as possible, but that's the game with um, flyers, okay? So once again, tip, print on a colored paper. Don't print in colored ink like this because it's gonna cost you a fortune. Print in quarters, all right? That way you're getting four times you know, your money's worth out of that bad boy, okay? So check that out, guys, and you just look at the shops around you, uh, print shop, and you'll get that figured out, okay? All right, so my first element of marketing was the flyers, guys. Super cheap to do. You can run those. Start with that first. The second element of marketing I went to was business cards, okay? And you'll see here, really simple design, nothing special with these. Um, I put a picture of window squeegee on there, some gutter cleaning, which we'll talk about, um, some more window cleaning. My numbers on the back of that with the name of my business, um, a little offer, you know, starting at only $89 for 20 exterior windows, free estimates on there. And that's what I give out when I go to do a quote. I would give that card out. Um, I would also give that to family and friends, those cards right there, because what you can do with these cards, guys, is you can give these cards out to people that you know and say, hey, if you have neighbors that want their windows washed or something, you know, could you hand them this business card? Or, and it's great to have those in your wallet when you're just talking with people and someone, and you talk about what you do. And, hey, I do window washing. Oh, you really, you do? Yeah, hey, if you ever need, you know, your windows done, here's a business card. Okay, so I would advise getting that because you have something to give to people and they can contact you, okay? Now, these other two elements and those cards, guys, you can get them off Vista Print, U Print. Those cost at me for 250 business cards, which I still have to this day, $35, okay? You might be able to find it cheaper at print shops near you or, you know, look for coupons on Vista Print or U Print. Um, search coupons Vista Print, and you can usually get business card coupons for that to get that even lower, okay? Um, once again, that was my second piece of marketing. I would really advise you getting those. You don't need those first, guys, okay? Get the flyers first, but then go ahead and get yourself a box of those cards, and they'll last a long time. But it just helps you with referral business with that. Now, the other pieces that I'm going to talk about are a little more expensive, okay? So we've got a car magnet, and we've got a Coroplast yard sign. Now, the yard sign was the third element that I went ahead and got. And that costed me, let me see, that one costed me... 20 bucks per sign. I bought two of these signs, okay? So essentially what it is, is just like my business card or my flyers, it's the same design, pro grade company name, really big letters, you know, what I do. And I really wanted this to pop so people could see I do window and gutter cleaning services. You know, the email that you could reach me at and free estimates, once again, an offer for people. Now, once again, that cost me 20 bucks per sign. And so for two signs, that was $40, okay? Once again, this is a little more expensive of an investment, um, but it's great for marketing purposes. Like I said, start there, then go business cards, then get yourself a yard sign. What I do with the yard sign is I put this yard sign out into the yard of the home that I'm cleaning, okay? And it surprises me how many people go wash windows and they don't do this. So I put this sign out in the yard that way I can get referral business, guys. Referral business is huge. Most of the times, what happens where I get most of my business from is I'm out washing windows and someone will come over to my ladder and say, hey, so you wash windows. Well, how much do you charge? And I'll say, hey, give me, you know, just, you know, two minutes. I'll come over to your home. I'll actually run a quote for you right now. And then they usually book it because let's be true. Everyone wants to keep up with the Joneses. So if the Joneses are getting their windows washed and their windows don't look crappy, they want to make sure their windows in the cul-de-sac don't look crappy. OK, so get yourself one of these signs. You just put it out into the yard and you keep it out in the yard for the amount of time that you're washing the windows, okay? So if you're there at the house for two hours, keep it out of the house for two hours right outside of their front yard so people driving by can see. And I usually leave my ladders and stuff close by so people see that I'm actively out there washing their windows right now, meaning they can walk up to me and talk to me, okay? So get yourself one of these signs. What I actually did, I know some people put these on corners of streets and stuff. I did that with one of mine, and one of my competitors, I'm pretty sure one of my competitors, came and boosted up my sign and stole it, okay? So make sure that, especially, you know, don't, if there's areas in your city where you can't be posting signs, don't do that. But I lost 20 bucks on one of these signs because someone stole it from me. Um, so I kind of mainly just put that into yards um, for referral business. Great, great, great investment, guys. It's a billboard for your business, okay? Now, the other piece that I got, this one's probably the most expensive one, is the car magnet, okay? So here's a car magnet that I just strap onto the side of my vehicle. 
and I actually have two of those, okay? The car magnet's gonna run you $40 a piece. And once again, these prices can change. This is what I paid for it, but $40 to get this car magnet done. And you can see it's just like the sign. And I got two of these magnets because I put one on the left side, one on the right side. You can also put on the back of your car for when you're driving. But what I really do with these signs is I put them on my car for when I'm parked outside of the home. Now, I, use, I don't ever park in someone's driveway. I park, you know, right next to their home on the side street or whatnot on the curb. And I put these on right as I start to go wash. That way people can see because they're always looking for when they see you up there climbing on those ladders, scrubbing windows and stuff. People are like, man, I really need to get that done for me. What's that guy's number? And my number's right on there, very clear for them to see. And when I'm driving to jobs and driving back from jobs, I leave it on there, okay? So that's, once again, it's a billboard for you. you your car is a moving billboard, guys. Try to mark it at every step that you possibly can, okay? Now, those, are, those really, guys, literally are the basics, okay? Start right here. Start right here with this, okay? You don't need that and that, you know, and those to begin. Start just with the flyers, get out, start putting these flyers on doors. Now, I put the flyers out, I would do putting the flyers out towards the end of the weekend, okay? If they're out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, people aren't gonna see that on their doors because they're coming home from work really late, okay? And they're usually not at the front doors. They'll go through their garage and so they'll miss your flyer completely or they'll get your flyer and forget about it by the time the weekend comes. So I try to line everything up towards the end of the weekend actually. That way I know that they're home. So a lot of times I'll go out early, early, early Saturday morning, start putting up those flyers on those doors guys. Or a lot of times you'll see people out and doing their yard work. Um, and I don't try to make things awkward with people because I, and I want them to come to me essentially. So what I just go do is I say, hey, I'm washing windows, here's a flyer for you, thanks. And then I walk away from them. And a lot of times those people actually say, hey, are you actually doing quotes right now, right? Because I'm not being pushy on them um, and I'm not trying to be a salesperson to them. And so they see that and they go, hey, can you just run a quote right now? And so they'll go ahead and do that. All right, now the other two marketing tips that I have for you guys to help grow your business is gonna be one, building a website, okay? And that's about $13 a month using Wix, which is really super simple. I'll go into that in another video. I'm trying to just give you the basics right now to get started today, okay? To get started today, no excuses. Don't try to build out all this stuff. I'm trying to give you what you can do today to get out there, put some flyers out there and see if people need their windows washed, okay? But building a website is one of them. And the second one is creating a Facebook page, all right? Creating a Facebook page for your business, and that's free to do. Once again, I'll talk about that in some other videos once we talk about, you know, more online marketing stuff that you guys can do. Um, but I would not say do not start there, okay? Do not start there, start there. Just start with flyers to see if there's actual business, all right? All right, so this isn't really a piece of marketing, but kind of a piece of marketing is the quote sheet. Now, this is a quote sheet that I would use when I would go out um, and quote people's businesses. And we'll go into more detail where I'll talk about this exact quote sheet. And actually, if you guys want, what I can do with a lot of these materials is I can just give you guys the links for these, the files, um, so that you guys can just download these, customize them to yourself and use them for your own businesses. If you guys do want that, just comment down below. Let me know, say, hey, Trey, uh, we'd love to get those files. Can we get those? And I'll be sure to do that for you guys. Have you guys hit the subscribe button yet? If you haven't, hit the subscribe button right now, guys, because here on the channel, we're showing you how to master your wealth to free yourself, okay? And that all begins, once again, with mastering your wealth. And that's exactly what we're doing right here, guys. We're showing you a side hustle that you can use to create seed money to build the business of your dreams, to build a truly passive income business. But guys, it begins with a side hustle. And this side hustle right here, that window washing side hustle, generates over $2,000 a week with low overhead, guys. I'm showing you in this entire series how you can do that, okay? And I'm actually going out there and I'm gonna go wash some more windows again to show you guys exactly how much money you guys can make, show you how easy this is to do, okay? So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can see that. Check out the other videos we've got on the channel talking about this side hustle as well as other side hustles and then how you can take that seed money and scale it into a real business. We'll see you guys later at the Academy.